All right, guys, here we are back on NR2003. We're continuing our 2012 Arca season mode here today. Before we get into the next race, let's go ahead and take a look at the updated point standings. We're coming off a couple of good results. We've not really made a move in the standings as a lot of guys at the top have had very good results themselves. They've been really consistent. Um, Brennan Poole, Alex Bowman, Frank Kimmel has even putting together some good results. So we basically know that we have to be on top of our game every week because these guys aren't going to give us a break. That being said, going forward, um, we're going to go to the next race. I took a while to get this one out because I wanted to have enough time to record this. It's going to be the Road Course Spectacular here at the New Jersey Motorsports Park. It's the halfway point in the season, so I thought we should do a half distance race. 38 laps today. It's going to be a long one. Two times pit stops. Um, 96 AI difficulty. Let's go ahead and get to it here at Thunderbolt Raceway. And let's get on the track for qualifying. I'm hyped up about this. I love driving stock cars around road courses. Believe it or not, I just think uh, their lumbering slowness is awesome and fun to drive. And I love how they can kick loose and it's just a handful. I actually enjoy that. I haven't driven much of a Thunderbolt Raceway here before. Ever, really. This is my first experience doing it, but in my practice, I actually quite like it. It's got very varying corners some slow uh, slow sharp ones like this left hander here not to get down into first gear and some uh, big sweepers where you can just barely lift and other corners like this where you just kind of want to let your car roll through it it's probably going to be the worst part of the race course for me this right hander into a tightening right hander that tightens and tightens and tightens into a very sharp right hander and then the left does the same it's a switchback left hander that just gets tighter and tighter so that's gonna be tough to manage for me but this is it we come towards the front straight here this last corner is really fun just a barely lift there get one lap so we've got to do our best here get it nice and slow hit that curb on the inside don't run over it too much it's right hander over the hill it's tighter than it seems so got to be careful there it's right hander get it turned in early oh no we're off that's okay it's not eye racing we can just do that lost some time there though we lock it bad but we're able to recover it's been a sloppy lap to say the least I'm pushing a bit too hard Let's focus on keeping it on the track taking it easy Hooking a bit of curb there on that last left-hander. Helps get the car turned out onto this. We can just stomp it down. Try and take this flat. Just had to counter-steer it a bit. See the time, I don't think it's going to be good. All right, there's the checkered flag. Not last, baby. 25th place. I will take that, and we'll see you guys for the big race. Drivers, start your engines! All right, guys, it is a race time here in the New Jersey Motorsports Park. We've got 38 laps. Take a deep breath. It's going to be a long race. I've got my water and my uh, fan blowing on me, so I'm ready for this one. Starting in 25th, the main thing in the early phase of this race is to keep the car clean. Don't want any incidents. Don't want to drive with damage for 30 plus laps. If you guys are hyped for this race, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Um, really means a lot to me and I hope I can put on a good run for you as we get the green flag here at Thunderbolt Raceway. I 
while I do want to protect myself, I assume the AI will be a little bit slow and cautious and stacked up on the first lap, so I'm going to look to take advantage, gain a few spots if I can. So we're just going to force our way three wide here on the inside. iRacers hate me. Leave as much room as we can about going off the track there. These people are flying past us on the outside. We're just gonna go out here. Don't know if that's gonna work or what. I don't know if we gained or lost here at the start. It's just been chaos and me reacting basically. I think we're doing okay. Just wanna leave everybody lots of room. Nice and easy about things. Kind of got stomped there in that section of corners, so that's okay. Pretty fast on the last turn from what I've seen, and we get a nice run, and there is a caution. Make it to the line. And we make it to the line in 20 seconds, I will take that. Let's go ahead and take a look at what brought out the caution, and I will come back to you at the restart. So let's take a look at it here. This is not good. Frank Kimmel in the back of the pack. He and uh, Chad Hackenbrandt have a little bit of a run in here. Kimmel slams into the back of the 20. Hackenbrandt actually makes it clear, but Kimmel gets a huge hit there from Ed Kennedy, I believe that is. And that is not good for Kimmel's chances. And like we talked about in the opening, we needed some of these top guys to have bad races. And, uh, well, we may have a chance right there with Kimmel taking big damage in the early going. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go green flag racing here. I believe we are restarting 20 second. Don't ignore the 30. It was a bit of a chaotic uh, pacing lap there, so... It's going to be uh, 34 to go when we get the green flag. Kimmel able to keep running Ed Kennedy out of the race. And we have a single file restart here. So we're going to try and keep taking advantage and maybe make our way into the top 20. We will have to wait and see. As this is a bit awkward, but we get the green flag and we absolutely lose out. <laughs> What's that, like nine positions down? Thanks, guys. All right, then we've got some work to do. Got Frank Kimmel with no hood still right behind us. I have a weird feeling he still may be fast. Peterson's very slow there, so we're able to take advantage, use him as a pick, get past Hackenbrag and Kimmel. Keep Kimmel behind us anyway. Get a bit of a green run here. Hopefully things will spread out a bit. We can just save what we got. You know, look to... Uh, pick people off one by one. So I assume if Kimmel and Hackenbrack are in the back, that means some uh, cars that maybe aren't that fast actually qualified pretty well. I'm hoping throughout the day they maybe fall back through the field towards me. So I feel like we've definitely got some halfway decent speed as we're up into 22nd here. Got a nice little cushion behind us at the moment, so we're going to look to maintain that one. Looks like we've got 
got a lap car of McReynolds ahead of us. Hopefully, uh, can just dispatch of him quickly. Really don't need to be getting held up by lap traffic six laps into the race. Looks like that's what might happen though as we go through the slow section of the racetrack. All right. Oh, big Stay dive the there from Leilani Munter. Thank you. Stay on the left. I do not like those. Stay on the left. We're gonna put a dive to Kid here. Can't get past. Not quite gonna get to Mick Reynolds. We're just gonna dive bomb him. Who cares about lap cars? Oh, when we just clear him and slide up. Pretty aggressive there. Up into the top 20. We've already lost four seconds to Steve Core there in 16th. That is not good. Too much fussing around back there. Got a lot of work to do. Frank Kimmel is in 21st place. How this man is doing so well with no hood, I have no idea. He's gonna pass me with no hood. I'm not gonna be able to fight him off. Here he comes. Oh lord, he coming. Keep to the left. Still there. Still there. Uh, there's no point in really fighting him at this. Are you fast or not, Frank? Well... He did uh, seven laps without big damage. I guess he's going to be slow on the straightaways. Well, maybe we can try and follow him through here. So we'll be able to keep with him on the straights. I assume through the turner, the corners, the turners, the turns and corners, he'll be a bit faster than me. So you can see the new uh, 2019 Arca Aero package on Frank Kimmel's car there. Already pre beaten up. I reckon this race is going to be a two stopper, so uh, about 12 laps to go until we have to pit here. Got a hack and brag right on our tail as well. I think it's going to be a lot like Kimmel where we just don't even bother. Try and Still let there. him buy me here. So much for that. Still he doesn't there. want it. Alright, we're going to do it the hard way then. Clear on the right. All right, I think hopefully we can follow him. Now we'll be able to keep him behind us, but maybe if we can just stay in his wake, get some good suck, we can uh, maybe make up a bit of time on the guys ahead. Still keeping this top 20 in our sights. Lap car on McReynolds behind us, but now two and a half seconds thereabouts to the next car for position. So, basically, just focusing on the race ahead at the moment. Whoa, car sliding itself through here. It's not like that. I 
as ever, we get a nice run off the last corners. We are on lap 10 now, creeping up to a third of the way through this thing, and it's been up and down so far. So we absolutely dive it up the inside of Levi Euster. Try and keep with him. Oh, just cleared myself there. That was a move and a half. Let's see if we can't uh, keep it ahead of him here. Coming up to the section of the track that the AI is definitely better than me at. Especially if I overdrive it like that. getting a bit racy ahead of me so that's gonna pull me right back up to their back bumpers Frank Kimmel just an absolute lad right now with his car all damaged up we're jumping over curbs we're mountain curbs we got a good run on Hackenbrandt we're just gonna take it oh lord we might be three wide here into T1 on the right. aim for the curb holds on and we're clear two for the price of one there <sighs> don't know how all that worked out but I'll take it now so slowly making progress top 15 our target about 6.8 seconds up the road we get a nice little shot there from Hackenbrand all right I know you want back through buddy go ahead there you go Probably focus on my driving. Got about nine laps till we need to pit. <sighs> Tire wear is okay. I'm sure they'll be pretty spent by the time it's time to come in. Just ride here with Hackenbrandt. Man whose name I say different every time. I think we can actually make up some time. He's a nice little line to follow and get some good slipstream. Yeah, he's definitely a bit better than me through that left-hander. That was not good. These tires are starting to protest big time. Pushed out a nice cozy gap to the cars behind now. I don't think there's anybody faster than me back there now at this point. It's a long way to go, but I'd like to believe we can at least manage a top 20 at this rate. So once again, we're going to look to the inside of Hackenbrack. We're going to dive bomb Sean Core and just hit the curb. Man, when that works, it really works well. So we absolutely send it. Frank Kimmel's not that far up the road, and we are closing down the cars in the top 15. Only five seconds now to 14th place even. The yellow flag is out. Ooh, would we have a we caution? It's definitely going to be pit stops at this caution. Interesting to see.
see what brought this out as things are pretty spread out, I assume. Oh, Hackenberg's gonna get me. I went really wide right there. Let's see if we can't hold him here on the inside. Make contact, he's not lifting. I'm not surprised, baby. This is Arca. Try and hold it around the outside in the grass. I ah, beats me to the line. All right, so 18th place. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at what brought out the caution and we will most likely pit. Can't see why not. And I will see you uh, back at the green flag. So this is what brought out the caution here. Leilani Munter's car blows up and uh, she's not able to make it back around as this happens on the front straight. It's pretty unfortunate and that's gonna end her race. And it's going to be time for some yellow flag pit stops. Alright guys, we're getting ready to go back to green here. Pit stops went fine. I think we actually did come out 16th like it says there on the board. So we gained a little bit there on pit road. Just four tires and gas, no issues. And uh, we're getting ready to go to it here. So I think uh, somebody has given up there on the inside. So let's go ahead and get to it. We'll get the green flag and restart this race. Just can't seem to get a good restart. So we're actually in 14th as we lock them up hard going into T1. Have to get used to these. Uh, while they are fresh, they are cold tires. Let the brakes cool down as well. So we are now in the top 15 with a threat at the top 10 at the moment. Barford very aggressively goes around the outside there. Not giving an inch. Not that I'd expect him to. This is a race after all. Just be happy to get to the point where things have spread out again. Don't like this close chaos. Especially I felt I was a bit faster compared to a lot of the AI as the run went on. It seemed like they were just a bit better in some parts of the track at the start can just kind of uh, claw at the ankles here. Hang on to the top 15. You know, who knows what may happen at the end of this. Whoa, she got a big kick of oversteer there. Had to lift. It's gonna lose us some time, fortunately. Barford and Charleston are side by side. It's just wasting time, losing the cars ahead. Wish I wasn't stuck behind these guys right now. I feel I'm faster than them. It's just I don't really have a lot of time to pass. Faster than them at the right spots, really. Let's get through that left-hander nicely. It's going to put us right on Charleston's tail. The multiple right-handers at the end of this track. Feels nice to have nice fresh tires though. So we are not sliding as much anymore. There could be a good chance as we don't have to lift going into the last turn. We can keep it hammered down and get to the inside of Charleston for 14th. Slow it down there, miss the curb, and we're going to throw that position away. Damn it. Just couldn't get it turned in enough to hit the curb like usual. Lost us a ton of time. See the top nine streaking off into the distance. Relax, regain my composure. 
Also been having bad allergies all day, so my vision is getting a bit fuzzy. So I do any weird blinking, that's why you that's why that's happening, is I had tears in my eyes basically this whole race. Just at the beauty of this driving skill. That's what it is. Been towards the halfway point in this thing as well. It has been an interesting race to say the least. Get another monster run on Charleston. Still there. Do this right this time. Use the curb. It kicks me a bit sideways. Still able to stay next to him, give him plenty of room. Do clear. Let's just protect the inside from the over and under. He's not able to get there. Very nice. Nice clean overtake that time. And it was in a different part of the track. Well, I mean, we had a bit of time to put some distance on him. Able to get a nice run through that fast right hander. As long as he doesn't get me here before the slow final sector, we should be okay. Why do I insist on blowing everything? We should be good. Finally up into lucky number 13. We can look ahead now as we cross the halfway mark. Well, 13's unlucky for some as we absolutely toss turn one. Let's not get hit now. Some shit just fell on my desk. Keep breaths now. Long race, let's just keep this composure. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. I haven't driven a race this long in a while. I've been off of iRacing. Just haven't had the time to put into anything, so. Well, it's fun to be back. I'm definitely showing my rust. Peterson Stay on the left. absolutely sends it up the inside. Keep to the left. Okay, so he's looking a bit quick. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. Are able to keep him clear there though. We should be able to gap him a bit through this last turn. Okay, so it's gonna be one more stop at least. tires definitely help a lot here and you know I've used these up a lot already being bad so I can maybe I'll pit when I first see the AI pitting maybe get an undercut on a couple guys that stay out because it's doubtful to me that anybody can actually make it even with caution laps a bunch of yellows came out maybe but we only ran two laps under caution that last period Just want to ch clear Charleston for good here. It's time to be patient at this stage. No mistakes. Find that rhythm. I've just been talking to myself with this self motivation. <laughs> Screw the audience. Haha. <laughs> No harm, no foul. Big kick of oversteer. Fine, fine. Oh, 
Uh oh, we got another one out. It's Marks. He's not going to make it around. That's probably going to be a caution. It's probably going to mean that we take the stop under yellow flag and we just go to the end from there. I'll be thankful to get a chance to group back up with the guys ahead of me as I lost them on the restart. Some bad driving. Will he be able to make it back around? Okay, so far. Damn, if I knew he could make it around, I'd probably pit right there. Just to uh, get a ton of track position when the caution came out and everybody had to pit. There's no way I'd fall a lap down at a road course. I don't know if there'd be a caution. We're able to get to the inside of Charleston. He send it, although he's able to pull the over and under on me. I let that happen. All this fighting has let Pearson, Peterson get back to me. No, oh, he's able to send an aggressive move up the inside, up at this turn, so now we have to defend that. He's looking there. We're gonna fight that off right on Charleston's tail. He is very slow. And use our good run off the last corner to finally get this pass done for good. Nice and easy into T1. We've got the inside. Roll that curb. Clear them off. Focus on these next couple of corners. Build that gap. This race is all about self motivation. That's how all long races are, at least in my opinion. Just talk to yourself the whole time. be hard for hours and hours but it's the only way I can really find myself staying grounded in big events like this so I say that this isn't like the Nürburgring 24 or anything but longest one I've done in a while Charleston's looking not gonna give it to him. Right side. Make him go the long way. Stay on the left. Stay on the left. Clear. He had to take a really awkward line, so we were able to clear him. So did we, though. He lost even more time to the cars ahead. Seven and a half now. We are finally clear, and hopefully we can build a little bit of a gap. As I say that, we miss the curb again. Able to recover okay as I got tears running down my face from the beauty of the skill of this driving. I can't believe I haven't sneezed yet in this thing, man. My eyes hurt. <laughs> Tires are finished. I'm looking forward to that fresh rubber. If I can scrape home a 12th place finish, I will be happy with that. A 
was hoping to get to a stage in a race where I had a bit of space. I was just kind of driving on my own, sort of like now. Talk about, I doubt anybody's even watching this. I used, if it's such a long race, people probably watch the beginning, fast forward to the end, maybe look for cautions or whatever. It is what it is, but I'm going to have a lot more time to record videos now going forward. So I'm hoping to put up lots of new content on the channel, get back into iRacing for sure. I uh, want to have some more arcadey games as well, some NASCAR Thunder, get that out here, some Gran Turismo maybe here or there. Very excited about the prospects going forward and I'm uh, glad to have some, some people to share it with so excited, excited for the summer ahead, it's going to be good. Let's see if we can uh, bite into this eight seconds we got ahead of us. I'm going to push a little bit here. At least try and drive well. Let me just put it that way. It says that instantly goes off. And this car does not like used up tires. the Kanash behind us. He's been charging. I really gotta start hitting that curb. Probably not gonna fight him. He seems pretty quick behind me. He's cutting that gap a lot. Maybe one of those guys who just got shuffled back is actually a lot faster. He's gonna go wide here, let him go. I can follow him possibly, that might help me out. Always nice to have a bit of a pace car for yourself. Get a little slipstream. See what line might be working. It's the best way to learn in motorsport. Watch somebody else. That I believe wholeheartedly. So coming around now, 10 to go. Still one pit stop to make. Surely these guys cannot make it. It's gonna be devastating if these guys can pit. Or if these guys don't have to pit, that is. I don't know if I have any of them covered off for a pit stop. I mean, some of these guys are probably at least 10 seconds behind me, but pit stops probably more like 30 total with the pit lanes so to wait and see we're building a nice gap now to Charleston okay so they are pitting Really see a point in taking it any farther. I think it's just time to pit right away. Get the fresh tires on it as soon as possible. Get back out there. Don't know where I'm gonna come out, if I'll be in traffic or not, but Keep it under 45. go ahead Keep and bring it her down. It's the money stop right here. We got just 10 more to go. Got in cleanly. Looks like lots of people coming this time. That might have been a reason to stay out one more lap, but that's alright. Go! 
go, go! Yeah, we nailed that stop. Great Good job, guys. boys. The money really stop indeed. Keep it under three thousand. We're right next to Hackenbrand. We definitely gained time there. In second. Okay, you're clear. We're side by side with them, and we're gonna clear them. Holy moly, the pit crew. The absolute lads. Crying about it, it was so beautiful. And we got that fresh rubber. Don't know that we're gonna have enough to compete with Hackenbrack. He is very fast. Probably just let him go. That's what we're gonna do. So we got Charleston three seconds behind. If we can just follow Hackenbrack. Should have no threat. Although there's a lot left to happen in this race. Starting to get down to crunch time here. The pit crew did their job. Hackenbrack's gonna pull. Are we gonna look three wide? We're gonna use a bit of the track that nobody was ever meant to use. A car just came out of the pit straight into me. It's Chris Pusher. I did not see that one coming, folks. Oh my god. Okay, so, uh, what are the odds of that? We gained so much time on pit road. We're up here with Busher, Hackenbrank, Gerhardt. I haven't even seen Busher or Gerhardt this whole race. We were way behind Hackenbrank. I like this. fears that these guys will be fighting. Maybe Charleston will get back into it with us, but I was hoping that's not the case. We're going to get to the inside of Busher here. So I'm going to look out for people merging off a of pit road. Clear him, unfortunately. He's pretty quick. Okay. <laughs> Big ol' slide job, and I clear him. Drive it very hard off into that turn. Put a little gap on him. Top 10 is right there with Bobby Gerhardt. We haven't had the speed to stay with these guys all day. Take some masterful driving. So, uh, doubt, but. Left side. The yellow flag Chris Busher has dumped me. All right. Clear. Okay, we lost a couple spots. That's okay. Oh my god, I don't know if that was my fault came together there. Lost a little bit of time. Damn. So that's just made things very interesting because now while we only have a couple laps to go, that's going to bring the field all back together again. We're going to get one last restart. Okay, we're under caution. Stay behind the old car. 16th place. Oh my, it's going to be a wild run to the finish. Let's take a look at that incident one more time. Let's take a look at this here. There's no real way to describe it other than Chris Busher just runs into the back of me. Got lucky that we only lost a few spots and that our car doesn't look that badly damaged. 
It's just unfortunate though, as we had run a fairly incident free race up to that point. I guess he was just mad about that little dent from Pit Road. But anyway, let's get back to the shootout to the end of the race. I will see you at the green flag. All right, guys, this is it. It's going to be a four lap shootout to the finish here at New Jersey Motorsports Park. We start in 16th place. I don't know how our car is going to drive. It may have some damage. The tires are a bit more worn than they were before. But it gives us a chance now at maybe making it to the top 10, maybe crashing out. Who knows? I'm going to drive hard. I'm going to drive safe. Do have one lap car behind us? Well, I don't think he'll cut us any slack. He, uh, at least he isn't for position, so that's one last car that'll get, put us down. This is it. Four laps to glory. Try and be better on the restart than I have been before. This is awkward. Green, green, green. There we go. Green flag. Yo, Alex Bowman's cheating. You can't do that. He may get black flag for that. Don't know that you can actually pass on the inside. We've got Corbin Forrester diving. Where'd Alex Bowman come from? No, don't throw it away. Okay, so we're down to 17th for the moment. I don't know if Alex Bowman carries a red or a black flag or not for that move. He definitely passed cars on the inside before the green flag. I don't really just want to make it back to the top 15 if possible. That's been my target all along. get dumped again. On your lapped car, don't do this. Thank you. If Alex Bowman pits, you know he's got a black flag. It's gonna happen. A nice spot to gain back. He does. Made a terrible move there on the restart. That's going to be one spot. We're going to get a second right here. Devastating for Alex Bowman. Clear on the lap. Just made our top 15 chances a lot better as we sit in 15th. Car's at a good spot right now, believe it or not, even after that spin. Just feels right. I think those tires got a chance to cool down under the caution period. Very slow. Got to be so careful not to run into the back of him. Right side. Dive it up the inside. <laughs> Sorry that sounded bad, but my nose is like Clear right. purging. It's not a good time, nose. So we hit two to go. Fire it up the inside. Hit the curb. Clear, on the lap. Clear him, no problem. Up into uh, 14th place now. We are not out of it with these guys ahead of us. We drive well and they race each other. Sorry if that's gross, but it's game time. Oh no, locked it. Able to recover. Boy, I'm nervous now. I got that fan blowing, but I'm still sweaty. We don't really have a threat from behind, but tantalizingly close to the top 10. We 
can maybe get Gerhardt here on the front straight. I believe it's Brennan Poole taking the white flag. It's been dominant. Keep that gas pedal pinned down. As we fly towards the white flag, half a second now. got a chance. These cars race, which they are doing. They're fighting hard. Hackenbrack's really slow. Shit, I shifted down into first. Oh, we're gonna give Gerhardt a little push there didn't really do anything. Car left. Clear. And if we just had maybe two more laps, we could have passed him. We still got a chance at Gerhardt. We lean on him through the right-hander. Come back towards the left. There. I'll keep it on the line. He's going to clear me, but no way I'll have a chance to come back at him. Come on, baby. Get there. Ah, uh, no. Oh, 14th. <laughs> There's the flag. It's over. What an insane okay, race. We'll get him next time. Don't act too happy about it. Oh lord, <laughs> that was a wild ride. Brennan Poole gets the win. I am gassed out after that race. Lots of wild stuff happened and we got a great finish and I'm happy about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the race results. So if we take a look at the race results here, Brennan Poole gets the win, he absolutely dominated, he led all but two laps, Matt Lofton second, Will Kimmel third, Frank Kimmel comes home in fourth place with no hood and a destroyed car, I am very impressed, Hessert in fifth place, uh, he led the other two laps, we managed to come home in 14th after all the trials and tribulations, the ups and downs, I am very happy with that result, we got our top 15 in the end. Um, looks like we only had 30 runners at the end as Marks, Munter, and Kennedy retired. And Alex Bowman finished in 28th after that disastrous black flag on the final restart. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was kind of glad to do this as kind of a special thing for the halfway point of this ARCA season. If you guys want to see more content, I'm going to be putting out a lot more going forward. So definitely subscribe to the channel, like, and comment. And I will see you guys in the next race.